Hello everyone, Prankur here. So guys, today we are going to see a new problem from February Lead Code Challenge 2021. So the name of the problem is Trim a Binary Search Tree. So let's read the description of this problem. We have given a root of a binary search tree and the lowest and the highest boundaries as low and high. We have to trim the tree so that each element lies in low high. So basically we are given a binary search tree uh, with the two boundaries low and high and we have to trim the binary search tree so that the resultant tree has all the elements lies within this range low and high okay so but there is given a condition that trimming the tree should not change the relative structure of the elements that will remain in the tree so the thing is whatever structure we have we will have as an input the structure needs to remain same as an output okay so okay let's just go through the inputs what are the given inputs and then we are going to see the approach and the code of this problem okay so the given input as you can see here is 1 0 and 2 as a binary search tree and the low and high values are given as 1 and 2 okay so it means our resultant output should have all the uh, elements lies within this range 1 and 2 as you can see here in output we have eliminated 0 and, and the resultant output is something like this 1 null and 2 which is a breadth first traversal of this tree okay so that uh, input is also given as breadth search traversal and we have given an output also as breadth first traversal okay let's see another example here uh, in another example here we have given this tree as input and low and high are 1 and 3 and in the output as you can see we have given all the elements which are lying within 1 and 3 so 0 and 4 are trimmed from this binary search tree and as you can see the uh, structure relative structure of the output tree is also maintained as input uh, one was the descendant of two which is also maintained in the output okay so we have to keep in mind that the relative structure needs to be maintained okay i think from these two examples we have understood the problem and now let's just uh, jump into the approach how we are going to solve this problem so we will use any traversal in this pst and we will keep on checking each and every node and we will compare it with the low and high value and based on that comparison we will uh, decide whether we have to keep this node or not okay so let us go through that so what we are going to do we will check each and every node uh, compare with these low and high value how we will check whether current node is less than low if yes what does it mean it means that if current element is less than low it means that we don't have to include this node into our resultant output right because we have to keep all the elements lying within this range in our resultant output so we have to delete this node from our uh, resultant solution so what we can do uh, from here we also get to know one more thing that if this is not a part of our solution then its left subtree is also not a part of our solution why because if any element is less than low then its left subtree must also be left uh, less than low right this is the property of BST that uh, the all the left elements are less than the current node and all the right elements are greater than the current node so we are going to use that property and we will compare the current node with the low value and if current node is less than low then we are going to eliminate the left subtree along with the current node and if the current node is greater than high what does it mean it means that we have to eliminate the right subtree along with the current node from our resultant solution and we don't have to keep it in our solution right so we are going to use the same approach so let me just dry run this code through this example so you can get a better understanding so if you're here if you see here we have given 12 as a root node and if we check 12 is less than low which is not true right so let just go to the second condition here we are checking if current node is greater than high which is also not true right so it means that it is not less than low and it is not greater than high it means that it lies within the range given to us so it means that we can include it in our solution so simply what we are doing we are recurring for its left and right child we will check whether whatever node coming from its left and right child we will keep that those nodes as child of 12 and we will return 12 to the solution okay so now let's just go to the right left node which is 9 right so here this this tree will be called which is current node dot left so here again this function is going to be called for 9 so in the next rotation what is going to happen we will check 9 
with the low and high okay we are again going to compare current node with low and high and we will check whether current node is less than 10 which is true so it means that it is not lying within our range so we don't have to include it in our solution so we can simply recur for right subtree why because all the elements lying in its left subtree will also be less than 10 so we can simply recur for its right subtree and which will be returned to 12 okay so here if you see we are returning uh, this function which is we in which we have passed right node of 9 which is 11 okay so we will be calling this function for this right subtree and whatever node coming from its right subtree will be returned back to 12 okay and that will become the left child of 12 okay so now if we see uh, in the right child of 9 which is 11 and 11 is not less than 10 okay and 11 is also not less than or greater than 13 right so it is lying within our range desired range so what we can do we can simply recur for left and its right child we don't have any right child for 11 so we can simply recur for left child which is 10 and as you can see 10 is also lying within the range of uh, low and high so it is lying within our desired range so we can simply return its left and right child as you can see uh, if we call left and right child for 10 it will return null so we can simply return 10 as a left child to 11 okay and 11 will be returned as right child of 9 but as you can see here what we uh, did we did that here when uh, this condition was called for 9 what we did we simply returned right child of 9 which is 11 so 11 will be returned here to 12 okay so 9 and 6 will be deleted from this tree now if we recur for 15 as you know uh, when we compare 12 with 10 and 13 we know that this was lying within range so this condition was getting satisfied so we came here in the last line so here we record for left tree now it's time to record for right tree which is 15 okay now we are recurring for 15 now we will check whether 15 is less than 10 and greater than or greater than 13 yes 15 is greater than 13 so it means that all the elements lying on the right subtree of 15 are also greater than 13 so we don't have to consider 15 and its right right subtree into our solution so we can simply recur for its left subtree so here as you can see we are recurring for its left subtree right so whatever node coming from its left subtree will be returned back to the 12 as its right child because we are not considering 15 and its right subtree as a part of our solution so if now we will be comparing 14 with low and high as you can see 14 is also not in our range so we don't have to keep it in our solution and we will simply recur for its left child why because this condition will get satisfied current node is greater than high so we will simply recur for its left child which is 13 and 13 is lying within our range so we can simply return 13 back to the 12 so 12, 13 will be returned back to 12 and 12 will be and 13 will be added as a right child of 12 okay i hope you understood this problem now we are going to code it in our lead code so you can get to know whether it, this code is working or not okay let me just write the code here okay so the exactly similar code i am going to write here because i have written the exact code in that text editor also okay if root dot left is less than low it means that we don't have to consider this value and we have to recur for its right subtree right so we can simply write trim bst root dot right low and high okay i will i have already written comments so i don't think i have to write it here now root dot root dot well sorry we have to compare the well value root dot val is greater than high it means we don't have to include its right subtree and 
we have to return its left subtree root dot left low comma high to yes it will be good no okay if none of these condition get satisfied we have it means we have to keep this root as part of our solution so we can record for its left and right subtree both low high put 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 right do the same thing for right whatever coming from its left and right child will be become will become left and right child of this current root node okay low and high and after that we have to simply return this updated root okay let me just check if everything is good okay root null this is the base condition this is if current node is less than load means we don't have to keep it as a part of our solution we we will refer for its right child only because left subtree is also not part of our solution the same thing we are doing for its right child okay and this condition will be it will come here only if uh, it is current node is satisfying in uh, it is lying within the range so we have to keep it as a part of our solution and we will recur for its left and right child okay i think it's look good let's execute it okay there is some compilation in the 27 line okay so i am supposed to semicolon okay i think it worked well let me just try a sample test case Sample test case we can pick from here. One and three. Mm, it worked well. Okay, let me just submit the code and see if it got accepted. okay guys it got accepted so guys i hope you understood this problem how we have approached this problem with the, with this approach so thank you guys thanks if you like this video then please subscribe and share this video guys to your friends thank you